Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I am Bogmo. We are, uh... You know what? We're gonna make the Mammoths try and like us, hopefully to dissuade them from picking a fight with us. Um, the Renaissance has started to spread, but it has not reached us. Oh, no. It has not reached us at all. Hmm. Not even close. Hmm, let's see. Port Capital, Colonial Overlord has Renaissance. Owner has embraced Renaissance. Nearby Friendly Province has Renaissance. Province in Flanders, Tuscany, or Venetia area. Italian Capital, European. Five Development, post 1500. Ten Development, 20 Development. Yeah. So basically, yeah, there's there's stuff spreading it, and it'll kind of spread its way down the coast, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah. Ah, the war is not over. Mm. Mm. We are still working to convert um, the nation, and things are going quite well in that regard. Uh, Dawaro is going to be the holdout for a little while. They have, there we are, the strong sea of the aristocrats, making it a, a hard to convert it, but making it very loyal. In time, I hope to cancel that penalty out and be able to convert them. But not today. Uh, once this war is over, I'm going to ally Warsangali, I hope, and Yemen, and use them against a Dal. Crush a Dal, use that extra land to build up a military. Oh, what's this? We managed to produce a very legitimate account to show that we have a historical claim one of the provinces. You gains claim on a sob, and I get ten prestige. Not bad. So yeah. So basically, even though they'll have a truce with Ajran, I should be able to produce, uh, get them involved. Well, the, the truce won't matter because once I ally them. Actually, I think. Ooh. Yeah, when I want, I kind of want to wait for them to not be at war, because they will not be happy about. Let's see, rivals. Jazz, Adal, and Oman. All right, so yeah. Uh, I d I don't want them to be <laughs> rivaling each other. Oh, they are rivals with. Oh, he rivaled them. But they didn't rival him, so he, ally him first, then ally them. And do I want extra prestige? I lose prestige. I don't want to spend the cash on that, honestly. So, here now. There we are! So, let's off. No. They will not ally with us now. Hmm. They're an ally to an Ethiopia rival. Ah! So, they have allied them. And they're our rival. Oh, uh, Yemen will make become a friend of mine. There we are. Hello, Yemen. Mm. And I... Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm going to improve relations with them. Oh. Uh... The Yemen demands that I help them conquer Hejaz. I guess I will help them. It is unnecessary for me to have my forts active, though. However, I am going to unify my armies. Mm -hmm. 
And I am going to... Uh, oops. Uh, uh, army maintenance went up. Good. That's what I want it to do. <laughs> Jazz, Oman, and Hassa. This is not a wise war. Oh! Our rulers become greedy, penalizing our income. That is a shame. Mm -hmm. I feel like I made a slight tactical error. I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't even get over there, to be honest. So yes, slight Light tactical error and things. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's best to just make friends with Korea. Bring them down to the war. Ahead of time, plus we got the Renaissance kicking in. Well, it's gonna hurt my costs. So you know what? Let's take that first idea. Deus Vault! Prepare causes the against neighboring heathens and heretics. Mm -hmm. Alright, well I cannot join this war. So I have the Holy War against Mamluks and Adal, because they are accursed infidels. They are accursed infidels. So, Dal is my main target, though. I don't think I can... I'm sorry, Yemen. I would love to come and help you. I really, really would. But I can't. Minus 52. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, what are you up to, Mamrix? They are guaranteeing the independence of Jazz and Cyprus. So basically, if anyone picks a fight with Cyprus with the Jazz, the Mamlux will come storming in, making it unwise to pick a fight with them. Merahan! Hi, Merahan. Um Stop relations with you, and let's make you like me a little bit more. <laughs> Though, I mean, you're, you're pretty broken. It's hard to see how much aid you could really offer in the war. Which makes me a little sad. Though, perhaps... I could take another advisor. Fort defense up. Hmm. You know what? It cost me money, but I've slowly built up um, a little better of an income over the over the years. I can afford. Even in full war footing, almost full war footing, it seems, I can afford to have my, uh, have him there. It's a shame, though. So, an AI route with greedy would demand a golden piece, send gifts left off, and have special objectives when starting wars. Alright. I do wish I could see what traits they have. Is there a way? Oh, there is! Okay, so the Sultan of Yemen is just and a bold fighter. He underestimates army strength, and he prefers to pick on someone his own size and start fair wars. And do I want... I do not want inflation right now. Uh, no, because that'll cut into my income. And I'm very concerned about my income right now. Ah. 
Oh, here's a question. Nope, they would not give me access. Well, I'm going to prove relations with the uh, dial anyways. I mean, I can. I might as well try. Rival. Different religions. They want my provinces. We have hostile relations. And I've got a claim. Oh! For the Egyptian Copts. Uh, the Mamluk Sultan has been persecuting the Copts in his lands. Uh, it's a fellow figuring under the Patriarch of Alexandria. It's our duty to act. However, the, the fact that the Patriarch himself in, is in Mamluk hands complicates things somewhat. It's a fair plate the foundation of our church at risk. I could send a strongly worded letter. Avoid risk angering him. Cause for war. I'm going to send a letter to the Sultan. Let's see how that plays out. What kind of Sultan are we dealing with anyways? He's righteous. He would start fair wars. And he likes to disclose his attack plans ahead of time. Ah, the Mamluks. Uh, the Sultan has chosen to show his contempt for the Ethiopian court and ridicules any form of retribution that we might do. We can imprison his ambassador, it would piss him off, but it gives us prestige. Cause for war. Uh, Did I miss something? Alright, the Hejazi conquest of Najran. A resounding defeat. Is that a, is that a battle? Did I... What happened? I'm a bit confused. Hold, give me a moment to, to set, figure this out. So the Hassa and Oman... And... Okay. The Jazzy Conference have a resounding defeat? Is, it, is the war or is this the battle result? Ah, here we are. Uh, Hormuz has pieced out against Hejaz. Uh, Oman gets land, Hejaz and his allies. Okay. Things are not going well for Yemen, basically, is, is what we can read out of this. Or I drop the whole thing. Mm. You know what? I'm going to try a middle path. Let's imprison the insulting ambassador. Ah, what are you going to do with that, Mamlux? I imprisoned your ambassador. Hmm. I honestly think the Mamluks ultimately don't care what I've done. Hmm. You know, I feel like I might want to un-ally with Alodia, honestly. They are a viable direction of expansion that I should have been looking into. But I was too busy thinking about the non-Coptics nearby. Mm. Well, maybe after this war is over, I will make new friends with Hejaz. And maybe Hejaz will help me against Adal. Huh? Huh? Could be. Meanwhile, in the world of technology... Still no sign of the Renaissance. Ah, Gondar, our seat of power. Yeah, I'm sorry, Hajaz. I would have loved to have helped you. I really, really would have. But it's not going to happen. It really is not. Taking on these guys might happen. Oh, I've got coffee, which gives us more institution spread. It's nice. If only we had an institution to spread. 
Well, whoever wins this fight, I'm going to drop Yemen like a bad case of the flu. And I'm going to pick a new... Oh. Well, since I've got this, let's support some rebels. I don't want to spend money to support rebels, though, so let's just fabricate a clan. And fabricate a clip. Oh, they discovered my spy network. Or did I discover theirs? Well, one of the two. So, I'm going to make them like us. I guess in theory they might offer a small smattering of military help. Oh, Yemen. You're... No? You might win that fight. But now you're, gonna, you're not going to win this fight. Land will be blocked by a hostile fort. I know. It's terrible. If only we had been able to crush Adal, my good friend Yemen. 1.6. Maybe I should be looking into increasing my military size a little. Point two one ducats a month. Mm, it'll help. Give me 14,000 men. Increasing my strength on the field. Decisive defeat! So, uh, Najd cedes land to Hassa and Oman. All right. Oh, Elodie has gone to war with uh, Mercuria. Good luck, buddy. Because I think I am going to break my alliance with you. Once I have the opportunity to do so. But I neglect. More taxes, more trade, or more manpower. Give me, give me taxes. We'll just ignore what's going on in the city and, or in that territory and hope it gives me money. There we are. Arrival of arrival achieved. Hurrah. Hmm. There we are. An elite military. 14,000 strong. Mm -hmm. 6-1. Uh, another missionary. I'll take it. Although there's no shortage of people ready to go out and spread the true faith, most of these people simply do more harm than good. Special schools to train the missionaries will ensure we have more people who cannot only spread the faith but succeed as well. Alright. Though I don't have I don't have the guys to do it. What am I at? Minus 1.3. Which would give me 2%. Percentage. Taking 50 months. I think. Hmm. Yeah. 1.7% a month. More like 70-ish. Between 70 and 80 months. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to hurt you, Adele. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. Maybe, honestly... I should have. I should start my fight right now. Well, I don't want to fight when Yemen's. I might get. They might decide to involve themselves in this war. So instead, let's consider. Adal. Eight thousand men. Ajaran can pull in nine thousand. Warsan Gliani, sitting at a comfortable uh, eight thousand soldiers at the moment. So looking at 25,000 men. Mm. It's more than I want to deal with, really. 
However, once Allody has expanded and possibly had jazz. I mean, once we're not at war, things might shift around until Jazz can become a possible friend. And they would have the land connection to strike. Yes. Always thinking. Musing. Mm. I'm curious to know what kind, of, what kind of man our young Marcos will become. Mm. Also a good question. Is there any cheap territory to improve? 67 is not... Mm, there's not a lot of easily improved lands. 69, 60, 65, 64... Mm. Ah, he's careful! Giving us a decreased aggressive expansion impact. That's not bad. All right, well. Hey, how about, uh, super beats? I would like to... Half would have to trust me less if I did this. Ah, here we are. If I peace out separately with Yemen, Kafo would trust me less. Uh, as out of the, you know what? I don't need Kafo to trust me. So I'll break my. I offer to break my alliance with Yemen in exchange for piecing out. Cost me a point of prestige. That's fine. All right, a sudden, I got a good boost. Now they're neutral with us. They won't ally with us, but I might be able to swing things around. Let's see what another 29 points of, uh, of reputa relations will do. Let's see. Their opinion is plus 18. Just making them a potential ally could do a lot for us. And once again, the peace is over. Oh, nope, they're still at war with Shamar. Where's Shamar? Yeah, Shamar. Do I want... Do I want to re-peace with them? They would re-ally with me. But I think I have to have... Uh, even all treaties for 10 years. Ugh. Might have been better to hold on to it. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Ah, well done, Alodi. You grew stronger. Just what I needed. Alright, we're going to take a little break here. Thank you for watching. See you all soon for more.